Welcome to the Gemini era. Hey everybody, it's Mickey. Welcome to another video. And in today's video, guess what? We're going to be talking about the Google Gemini. It's new uh, ground up multi-modality large language model. Uh, the Gemini era is here. Google's latest entrant into the AI battles. This one apparently will rival chat gpt but will it be any good we're going to test it out um as you can see google put up uh, in the release a bunch of fancy uh, charts and uh, benchmarks and uh, all sorts of other things things to know is gemini comes in three sizes we got the ultra version i guess this will be released uh sometime next year don't know exactly when the Pro model, best for scaling across a wide range of tasks. This will be the one uh, that's already integrated into uh, Google Bard, which we will test out in a few minutes. And then it also comes in a nano size, a smaller size, the most efficient model for on-device tasks. So I guess this will be on the Pixel 8 as well as uh, other offline apps as well. So going back up here, uh, back to these benchmarks, if we click on here, we will get to a uh, sheet on exactly what Gemini can do. And what's interesting here is they got uh, an evaluation on a broad range of benchmarks show that our most capable Gemini Ultra model, this is the top one that's coming out in a few months or sometime in 2024, advances the state of art in 30 of 32 of these benchmarks so i will naturally ask couldn't you just get two more I apparently not okay enough of that let's move on to bard and get to the main event people will be confused is this actually using gemini well let's just do the obvious thing and ask it are you using Gemini? And let's see what it comes up with. I might go ahead and fast forward this if it's taking quite a long time. I haven't really used this. Okay, that was pretty quick. I am powered by Gemini Pro. So yes, this is using Gemini Pro. Um, again, just going back to this report, it's kind of interesting if we look at... Um, just some of the numbers if you compare uh, Gemini Ultra, Gemini Pro with GPT-4 and GPT-3.5, you will see, yeah, Gemini Pro does uh, have the edge in some of these numbers. Again, what do these numbers really mean? I don't, they're just numbers. But like math, it's Gemini Pro is 32.6%. GPT 3.5, 34.1, and even Palm 2 is higher than Gemini Pro. So that's kind of strange. And something else to consider is, okay, Gemini Pro just came out last week. GPT 3.5 came out a year ago and is still as good, if not better, than Gemini Pro. And down the road, of course, Gemini Ultra will be out sometime next year. Um, but GPT-4 has been out since March, so you can clearly see just how far behind Google really is in the uh, AI race. Anyway, back to Bard. Um, so you can see we are powered by Gemini Pro, and one of the cool things about uh, Bard is is a it's free remember gpt4 is a paid service and i imagine gpt or gemini ultra will also be paid down the road but you can also add images to your uh, chat so i want to try that i'm going to add in a picture of a dog so i'm going to do that all right so i got a picture of a dog i'm just going to paste that in there and there's a little dog uh that i know very well what breed of whoops of dog is this let's see if it can understand a the image b the dog c spit out what the heck it is um, and the dog is a labradoodle labradoodles are a cross between labrador retrievers and poodles known for their intelligence and that is completely wrong it is not a labradoodle 
it is a soft coated Wheaton Terrier. Um, let me go to chat GPT. I have this chat GPT window open because I want to test it out. Let's see what uh, chat GPT this is on four. So I'm just going to paste this in. What breed of dog is this? Ooh, there he is. <laughs> and chat GPT four is thinking about it. Oh, look at that. Shaggy bait. It resembles breeds such as the soft coated Wheaton Terrier. How about that? Okay. So right there we know chat GPT. Oh, I missed my dog. Um, and <laughs> Google is stuck on the Labradoodle. Like, it's not even the same color. Like, that's whitish. This is brownish. Anyway, it was a failure on that end. Now, if you go down here, uh, Google Bar does have some added options compared to uh, GPT. We have, uh, you can modify responses. Remember, in GPT-4, you can do prompts and change things up. In Bard, you can just click on, it's already got prompts pre-made. So if you want a shorter answer, longer, simpler, casual, professional, um, it's going to do that for you. You can also easily send your responses to Gmail, export into documents. Very handy for, uh, very handy for distributing your responses. And you can even, like in this case, let's double check. I don't know how this is going to work. If I go to Google, I guess it's just going to use its own Google to figure out. Check completed understanding the results. Um, so I guess this just gives us. Oh, okay. It's just going to give us some more information on where it found the data. Um, Okay, let's go to another example. I'm going to put in another image, and this is the viral uh, math equation from the other day. Let's see if it can just solve it. I'm just curious. I'm not even going to. I'm not sure. Okay. Please, because it won't let me just enter it. Please solve this. Okay. You can see it's the 60 divided by 5, parentheses 7 minus 4. Um, according to the operation, 60 divided by 5, 36. <laughs> some people say it's 4, some people say it's 36. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that, but that's actually pretty good. So it immediately solved that. Let me go to chat GPT and see what it can do with this. Can you solve this equation? Let's see if what, that'd be funny if it came up with four. <laughs> Solution to the equation is 36. Okay, so it got that as well. That's pretty good. Um, but back to Bard, that's what we're talking about today. Uh, so as you can see, it's working pretty good. Um, let me try something. What is today's date? Tuesday, December 12th. I don't know what this means. Um, oh, it's just a calendar event. Uh, let's do what are the... So there's two NFL games last night. Let me see if I can know the results. What were the NFL results from Monday night, December 11th? Two NFL games. Wow. Giants beat the Packers. Titans. Holy cow. This is actually really good. Um, geez. Let me see if I copy this into chat GPT-4. I don't think it's going to know. 
Giants defeated the Green Bay Packers. Okay. Okay, so ChatGBT gave us the Giants beating the Packers 24 22. Game was on in the final seconds of field goal, pulling off the upset. Perfect record in December, that's right, they were. However, they missed on the Tennessee Titans Miami Dolphins game. Very interesting. Anyway, so that's a big uh, plus for Google. I think ChatGPT clearly won with the dog. Um, I'm going to call it a draw on the math equation, but as far as the uh, real time information goes, uh, Google Bard's going to win that head to head. Um, another thing to look at with Google Bard is e extensions. Let me click on that. And since we are in the Google family, it's going to have direct access to uh, things like Google Flights, Google Hotels, Google Maps, your workspace. Again, this is access to Gmail, Drive, Documents. So you can ask uh, Google bar to tell you about your emails for the day or information about past emails you can look up documents um, and of course you can also uh, it's already integrated with uh, YouTube it's already got I guess it's already got it clicked on there um, but you can easily use help solve a problem I don't know what that means find videos about how to quickly get grape juice out of a wool rug. Okay, let's go for that. Let's see what happens here. So here are some mentioned. Quickly select your available extension. Okay, so you can just use an at sign. Um, but yeah, so it's going to integrate your integrate YouTube right into the responses which is pretty cool um, and that's something chat GPT cannot do I don't believe but uh, that's definitely an advantage to using this new bard with the uh, Gemini that's actually really cool so you can go in and just pull your Google YouTube videos right into bard which is really a nice feature um, but overall, I think so far it's pretty good. I don't have any major issues with it. I've just been playing around with it for a few minutes. Uh, will I use it? I'll probably still stick with ChatGPT4. I guess I am still of the mindset of, I don't know, Google, just too much Google. I, I just don't feel like giving them so much information. I feel like I give them enough information as it is, and I'm pretty comfortable with ChatGPT. And again, just looking at some of these benchmarks, I mean, they're basically going to give you the same information, Gemini Pro, GPT 3.5, and it appears that GPT 4 uh, is better than Gemini Pro, and I'm paying for GPT 4, so why would I use Gemini 4? Um, but it's a use-by-use use case, and you can make your own decisions. But definitely, if you have a Google, all you need to use Bard is a Google account. Simple enough, totally free. Give it a whirl. Um, if you're not paying for GPT-4, this is definitely a great uh, alternative, especially to GPT-3.5. Give it a whirl and let me know how it goes in the comments below. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more AI content. See you in the next video.